For 30 years, the U.S. wasn't allowed to defend itself from ballistic missiles. On this day, December 13th, 2001, the United States formally announced its withdrawal from the Anti-Ballistic Missile Treaty, reshaping the future of missile defense. President George W. Bush notified Russia that the U.S. would exit the 1972 ABM Treaty, a Cold War agreement that had strictly limited nationwide missile defense systems. Although the withdrawal took effect six months later, December 13th marked the moment the missile defense landscape permanently changed. For decades, the ABM Treaty confined U.S. strategy to deterrence alone, allowing only minimal homeland defenses. Ending it unlocked rapid growth across the entire missile defense enterprise. Homeland missile defense accelerated. Ground-based mid-course defenses expanded. Interceptors were deployed in Alaska and California to protect the U.S. homeland. Theater missile defense surged forward. Patriot Pac-3 matured. THAAD moved from concept to operational reality. Aegis ballistic missile defense became a global capability. More importantly, strategy evolved. The United States was no longer limited to retaliation after impact. It could now intercept ballistic missiles in flight. That decision laid the foundation for modern integrated air and missile defense, where sensors, shooters, and command and control are fused across land, sea, air, and space. On December 13th, the shield was no longer restricted. It was finally allowed to grow. 